the secret to winning a quiz show lies in this finely balanced equation. Knowing the answer and beating the competition to the buzzer. The average distance from contestant to buzzer is 6.2 inches. But what happens when we increase this distance to 19 yards? What is that? And make our contestants race through extraordinary challenge courses to try to reach their buzzers first with the correct answer? They may know the answer, but can they reach their buzzer? Being right is only half the battle. Five contestants will play, four will be eliminated, and only one will walk away with the $50,000 grand prize. In this game, you need the right balance of brains and brawn. Who will go the whole 19 yards? A game show where simply knowing the correct answer is only half the battle. Our five contestants will have to conquer four spectacular courses like the one hidden behind these doors. Let's meet our contestants. Come on, let's get them out here. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You're just like a hot pack of firecrackers with a can-do attitude. Oh, yeah. What's your name? My name's Eleanor Kerr. Uh -huh. I'm a 40 year old mom of two nice. from Houston, Texas, and I own my own business. Wow, that's fantastic. Do you want to prove anything while you're here? Is that, is it, was that your motivation? Oh, I just want to show my daughters that women can do anything if you just put your mind to it and try hard enough. Nice. Girl power! Hey, you with the sleeveless tee and the guns. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I'm Mike Wells. I'm a 23-year-old construction worker from a little town of Waynesville, Missouri. Nice. <laughs> so what would you do with the $50,000? My high school sweetheart. I've been with her since my junior year in high school. Everybody knows how in love we are, and I would love to be able to buy her the ring of her dreams and make her my wife. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, Seth Rogen. I'm a huge fan of your work, and it's awesome that <laughs> What, what is your, actually your name? My name's Jason Coleman. I'm a 25-year-old x-ray technician from Santa Clarita, California. So what'd you do in high school? Were you always competitive or were you, what, do you, what do you think? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, it goes back to when I was younger. I was the captain of the trivia team and I was the team. No one else really did anything much. <laughs> All right. What's Hi. your name? My name is Amy Lawhorn. I'm a 29-year-old teen drug counselor from here in Los Angeles. Now, you know, you see a lot, a lot of big male competition here. Is that, is that intimidating at all or are you going you gonna to school these guys? You know what? Dynamite comes in small packages. Nice. <laughs> Kapow, Amy. All right. What's your name? Hey, my name's Cliff Bolton, and uh, I'm 47 years old. I'm from Paducah, Kentucky. I'm a high school football coach. Yeah. All right. And, yeah. And I, uh, I'm the oldest here, I'm sure. Uh, but I, I'm a believer, man. I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the underdog right here, so we're going to go this thing really hard. Wow. I'm winning this 50. I'm winning the 50. I like the spirit, Cliff. Guys, here's how the game works. You'll each have a monitor in front of you. Every few seconds, you will see a clue. There will be a total of eight clues in all. We're just gonna be testing you on general knowledge. The answer this time is... Viagra. Viagra, yes, excellent, everyone. But you don't need to wait until all the clues are revealed. When you think you know the answer, you just buzz in. Sound easy? Yeah. Well, it is not, because we have moved your buzzers 19 yards away from the starting line. And to get to your buzzers, you'll have to battle your way through four challenge courses that you have never seen before, which are hidden behind these doors. In the end, only one of you will walk away with the $50,000 grand prize, okay? I know, it's huge. You guys ready to take a look at your first challenge course? It's awesome. This is what stands between you and your buzzer. Let's take a look. Slippery slope. This 19 yard slope is as slippery as ice. So getting to your buzzers will be a struggle. I promise you, is not as easy as it looks. You guys ready? Let's head to the yeah. starting line. Let's yeah. go, baby, let's go! In the first challenge course, there are five of you, but only four will earn a spot in the next course. 
To do that, there will be four runs of the giant slippery slope. The first person in each run to buzz in with the correct answer will earn a spot in the next course. By the way, you can use any part of your body to buzz in. The rest of you will repeat the course, each time fighting for a spot to advance. The last person remaining will be eliminated. Now remember, if you're the first one to leave your podium, you will have a head start on the course. But once you take off, you will not be able to see any more clues. Lastly, the home audience will get to hear the clues. You won't. Okay, are you guys ready to go the whole 19 yards? Yes. Fantastic, I'm gonna be waiting for you at the finish line by the buzzers. Here comes your first set of clues. First clue is up. Clue number one, turns nerds into rock stars. Everyone's watching intently. Clue number two, made over a billion dollars. Definitely not me, here comes the next clue. Clue number three, you can be Slash. Clue number four, five colored frets. And there goes Jason, followed by Cliff and Amy. Clue number five, created by Harmonix in 05. <laughs> and down goes Jason right away. Clue number six, losers get food off stage. <laughs> Clue number seven, Legends of Rock. And Jason already embarrassing his wife. Clue number eight, guitar-shaped game controller. Jason, captain of the trivia team, also captain of the falling down team, probably has the right answer. Doesn't matter unless he makes it to the top, though. You know what I mean? Legends of Rock, guitar, shaped There goes Eleanor. And here comes Big Mike, making a break. This guy is athletic. And this guy's not. <laughs> Mike was one of the last to leave, but remember, he still has to have the right answer. It looks like Mike's gonna be the first one up. He's made his hands up to the top. If he slides down, it's really gonna stink. <coughs> and he's all the way up top. Oh, don't give up, Jason. He hasn't answered correctly yet. You left after clue eight. Guitar-shaped game controller. What is your answer? Oh. I'm gonna need Guitar an answer, Mike. Hero. That's correct, Mike, congratulations. Wow. You have guaranteed yourself a spot in the second challenge course. It, and you, you, my friend, are one step closer to $50,000. Well, you got it. Well done. The rest of you head back to the starting line for a whole new set of clues. I told you guys it wasn't gonna be easy. All right, but maybe you picked up some strategies the first time around, so we're gonna give this a shot again. So let's see which one of you is gonna be the next to succeed. It is time to go the whole 19 yards. Here comes a new set of clues. First clue is up. Clue number one, NRA member. We're taking it in a little bit. Clue number two, she's a grandmother. Jason's making a face like he doesn't want to run up the course again. Clue number three, Battle Kurik. Still not seeing any recognition on anyone's faces yet. Clue number four, Born in Idaho. Well, it looks like Amy might know what it is. Clue number five, Loves Moose Stew. There goes Amy. She's going for it. Clue number six, You Betcha. There goes Eleanor, there goes Clem, and here comes Jason. <laughs> Jason's making a run for it. And down he goes like a wet sack of potatoes. <laughs> Cliff barreling for the middle of the course. Almost caught up to Amy that time. Surely in Cliff's football training, this must have come up at some point. <laughs> Don't get frustrated, coach, come on. Amy's got some kind of camel walk going now. Don't do, don't go, don't go. Oh, she's so close. But keep in mind, we don't even know if she has the right answer. Literally, pull yourself up. She is almost there. She has touched the hand of the platform. She is just about to make it. Amy pulling herself up. Oh, any second now, she's going to get that buzzer. Amy has reached the buzzer. And Jason is still Jason. I sure hope I know the answer. Oh. All right. Left on clue five, loves moose stew. What is your answer? My answer is Sarah Palin. That is correct, congratulations! Your work was not in vain, Amy. You have guaranteed yourself a spot in the second challenge course. Good job, the rest of you just stay down there for a whole new set of clues. Oh, uh, here we go again. I gotta do this, I gotta get this. Jason's all pumped this time. Clue number one, black, rarer than white. Next clue. Clue number two. Irritating to a mollusk. 
clue number three, made of calcium carbonate. There goes Eleanor. There goes Jason. Coach stayed behind. Clue number four, your teeth can test if it's real. Clue number five, worth more is perfectly round. Jason keeps trying the same old tactic, and it's still not working. Oh, clue number six, right. not a gym, but jeweler's cellar. There comes Jason. Clue number seven, <laughs> popular wedding necklace. And down goes Pineapple Express. Clue number eight, found in oysters. <laughs> Looks like Eleanor has learned a great technique. And all the clues are up. Cliff still seems to be waiting for that ninth clue that isn't coming. Eleanor's made it up to the top. All right, you got it, you got it. All right, Eleanor, you left on clue number three, made of calcium carbonate. What's your answer? A pearl. That's correct, congratulations. Come on, hug. We're hugging it out. You have guaranteed yourself a spot in the second challenge course. Nice job. Okay, guys, there's only two of you left. The good news, someone will get to compete in the second challenge course. The bad news, one of you has to go home. It's time to go the whole 19 yards. Here's your next set of clues. Let's go, guys, Hi, come on. First clue's up. Clue number one, skewered Scientology. I feel like Jason wants it really bad this time. Clue number two, winner of 2006 Peabody. There goes Jason. Clue number three, creators from Colorado. Ah, new tactic for Jason. Clue number four, main characters in fourth grade. Nope, same exact tactic as before. Clue number five, Saint appears often. <laughs> Surely there must be a better strategy than that. Clue number six, movie version in 1999. Coach takes off on clue six. Jason may be quick on the answers, but that has not helped him at all on the physical portion of the competition. Jason now trying to fly up the course. That's not gonna happen. Cliff, who's almost at the top, didn't look too confident when he left the podium, so Jason may still have a chance. All right. All right, coach. Yeah! Coach Cliff, you left at clue number six, movie version in 1999. What is your answer? South Park. Come on, baby. That's a correct answer. Congratulations, go, coach. Yes! Fantastic. Yes! Jason, what do you think happened? There was no strategy. What happened? Friction was not my friend. Good effort, buddy. Good effort. When we come back, we're going to see what brand new 19-yard challenge course will be standing in between these guys and their buzzers. And at the end of that course, one of them is going to be eliminated. Please don't go away. Next. So your strategy in the last challenge course, you waited until the very last clue, and then you took off. <laughs> but you dominated. I mean, where does this crazy Hulk-like strength come from? Dude, I mean, yeah. you try carrying shingles in the middle of summer across the roof in Missouri, that's tough. This stuff, I've been training for this my whole life. It's not bad. All right, are you guys ready to see what new 19-yard challenge stands between you and your buzzers? Okay, let's open those doors. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We call this parachute in a hurricane, and here's how it works. You will each have a parachute strapped to you, and when you think you've got the correct answer, all you gotta do is race to your buzzers. Well, what could the twist be this time? Look down the course. Fire those up! Parachute 
shoot backward while you are trying to race forward. Once you hit your buzzer, your fan will turn off. The first contestant to reach their buzzer with the correct answer is guaranteed a spot in the next challenge course. And of course, it's one step closer to that $50,000 grand prize. Are you guys ready? All right, let's get those shoots on. I'll meet you at the starting line. All right, in this challenge course, there are four of you, but only three will earn a spot in the next course. It's time to go the whole 19 yards, you guys. I'm gonna be down at the finish line by the buzzers. Fire up those fans. Here comes your next set of clues. Clue number one, over 140 have died there. Clue number two, Tibetan name, Saint Mother. Clue number three, can see China from it. Clue number four, Sherpas can help. Amy seems stressed. Clue number five, first to top, Edmund Hillary. Clue number six, into thin air, locale. Only two more clues left. There goes Amy. Clue number seven, 29,000 feet above sea level. Clue number eight, highest peak on There goes Eleanor and the rest of the pack. But Eleanor is literally dusting everyone. I mean, she's so thin, she is knifing through the air. Amy's turned sideways, not really aerodynamic. Did Cliff lose a contact lens? He's crawling around on the ground like an angry toddler. <laughs> now Amy has left to clue six, but Eleanor, who waited to clue eight, has blown past Amy. Eleanor is almost there. She's gonna make it. She's got the buzzer. All right, Eleanor. The rest of you keep going in case Eleanor gets us wrong. Eleanor, you left on the very last clue. Number eight, highest peak on Earth. What is your answer? Everest. That is correct, congratulations. You are automatically guaranteed a spot in the next challenge course, congratulations. The rest of you head back to the starting line for a whole new set of clues. Okay, it's time to go the whole 19 yards. Fire up those fans. Here comes a new set of clues. All right, here we go. Clue number one, larger breasts are a plus. No comment. Clue number two, fattest one ever, 86 pounds. Clue number three, can run up to 25 miles per hour. Mike seems a little stumped. Clue number four, 45 million are eaten on one day. But there goes Amy, there goes all of them. <laughs> For the second straight round, Amy was first out of the gate, but the guys have overtaken her. Mike is going for it this time. He is not holding anything back. Ugh. This is literally a human drag race. <laughs> Coach Cliff on the end is catching up to Mike. Mike's being blown back, but Amy's not letting go. Not be eliminated. No. All right, Coach wants it. You can see in his eyes, he wants it. Amy's really struggling. Oh, Mike lost a lot of ground that time. Coach looks like he's climbing up a wall, trying to dig his nails in. Coach down on the ground, and the only thing not being blown backwards is his hair, which still looks fantastic. Mike's getting close, but does he know the answer? Mike's almost there, and Amy has gained some... What, what a breakaway! This is unbelievable, it's neck and neck! We're seconds away! Here comes Amy in a feat of strength for Herculina Edwards! And she's got the buzzer! Amy has got the buzzer! Everyone is flipping out! Mike just buzzed in too, but Amy, you're up first! Can you stand? There, you can hold on to me if you need to. I gotcha. All right, Amy. You took off at clue number four. 45 million are eaten on one day. What is your answer? Oh, I sure hope it's chicken. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, Amy. You're gonna have to go back and run the course again with a whole new set of clues. All right, Mike. Mike, you left on clue four. Amy answered incorrectly with chicken. What is your answer? Turkey. 
That's the correct answer. Congratulations, yeah. Mike. Oh yeah, God. Big Mike. You have guaranteed yourself a spot in the next challenge course, my friend. Oh my Let's God. get these guys a protein shake. Okay, contestants, there are only two of you left, and only one of you will move on to the third challenge course. The other will go home slightly bruised and completely empty-handed. It's time to go the whole 19 yards. Fire up those fans. Here comes a new set of clues. First clue is up. Clue number one, Memphis native. Clue number two, caused wardrobe malfunction. There goes Amy, first to leave yet again. Clue number three, saying ad jingle, I'm loving it. Here comes Coach, fighting hard to stay in the game, trying to catch up to Amy. I really hope she knows the answer this time. Here comes the coach, all hair and socks. Right after this, I think he's gonna go play a round of golf in the 1930s. Amy's almost there. She's inches away from the buzzer. She's regained a little strength. I don't know if she, okay, she's got the buzzer. Stay strong, coach, she might say chicken again. Amy, you left a clue number two. Caused wardrobe malfunction. What is your answer? My answer is Justin Timberlake. That's a correct answer. Congratulations. You are going to the next challenge course, and you're that much closer to $50,000. Coach Cliff, just a true competitor, and it was an honor having you, man. Thanks Appreciate so much. It. Take Appreciate it easy. Mike, Amy, and Eleanor each now have a one in three shot at that $50,000 grand prize. When we come back, there will be another spectacular 19-yard challenge course standing in between these guys and their buzzers. Please stick around. Coming up next. Oh, God. <laughs> So, Amy, chicken? <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. So the clues you got were, uh, the biggest one was 86 pounds and runs 25 miles an hour. What kind of A-Rod chickens that thing. are in your world? Steroids. No, I read the, the fourth clue wrong, and it said like 45,000 or something are eaten on one day, mm -hmm. and I read in a day. Or, oh, I got yeah. you. It's okay. So you, like you, you were confusing basis. Thanksgiving with Happy Chicken Day. Yeah. Where, uh, <laughs> everyone just eats a chicken for no reason. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see what 19-yard challenge course is keeping you from your buzzers? Yes. Absolutely. Let's get that door open. <laughs> we call this Timber. And here's how it works. Each of you will have a lane with four poles. You're gonna to wanna to climb to the top of the first pole, then remove the flag. Then hit the button at the top of the pole, and the pole will collapse to the ground, carrying you to the next pole, and so on, until you've climbed all four poles. Hold on tight as you timber your way to the buzzers. The first contestant to reach their buzzer with the correct answer is guaranteed a spot in the final head-to-head -head challenge course for the $50,000 grand prize. Are you guys ready? You are so close. This is fantastic. I'll meet you at the starting line. All right, there are three of you left. It's time to go the whole 19 yards. Here comes the next set of clues. First clue is up. Clue number one, Bill Clinton loves it. Again, no comment. Next clue is up. Clue number two, from the head of Mr. Butts. Mr. Butts isn't helping anybody. Clue number three, good players get a bingo. Clue number four, 15 by 15 grid. We're halfway through the clues and yet nothing. Clue number five, the X is worth eight. There goes Amy, Amy's climbing up. There goes Eleanor. Clue number six, originally, Chris Crossword. Amy's got her first flag. And down she goes. Ow! Clue number seven. 100 titles. 
And Mama got a face full of tree. Clue number eight, triple word score. All eight clues are up, but unfortunately, Mike still looks clueless. <laughs> Eleanor getting her first blast of steam right to the face. Amy managed to avoid hers. <laughs> Mike's still at the podium, just kind of hanging out. Doesn't seem to know what the answer is, but the girls are already on their second tree. <laughs> oh, okay, Mike just decided it was more important to run. Does he have the right answer? Well, either way, he's gonna have to rely on strength to catch up. Oh, God. And down goes Amy. Ah, oh. oh, that's gotta hurt. Mike's got his first flag. Good <laughs> bounce. Ah. Hold two down for Mama. Mike climbing that thing like a lumberjack. Eleanor's catching up to Amy, both now on their third pole. But here comes Mike. He's on his third pole. Here they go. Mike has just passed Amy and Eleanor. Amy's having a little difficulty pulling herself up. Kind of looks like Eleanor's slowing down a bit over there. Oh, and Amy just fell off the tree. Mike has made up all the time he lost while waiting to get all the clues. Now he has blown by the rest of the field, but most importantly, does he have the right answer? Up like a frog. All right. Mike, you freakish acrobat. Woo. Mike, you waited until the very last clue, triple word score, but you made up the time with your insane construction worker strength. What is your answer? Scrabble. That is correct, my friend. Yeah. You have secured yourself yeah. another spot. Yeah. I love you. We love you, Aaron. You, baby. I hope that's you. your fiance. Absolutely. All right, you're going to the next challenge course. You're one step closer to 50 grand. I'm sorry, ladies. You're going to have to go to the starting line for a whole new set of clues. OK, ladies, there are only two of you left. One of you will join Mike in the final head-to-head -head challenge course, and the other will go home empty-handed. It is time to go the whole 19 yards. Here comes a new set of clues. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on. First clue is up. Clue number one, big with Tony. Amy talking to herself again. Next clue is up. Clue number two, Gregory Maguire wrote the book. Clue number three, popular on Broadway. There goes Broadway. Eleanor. A little trip out of the gate, but there's Amy. Now, does she know the answer, or does she just panic because she doesn't want to be eliminated? Fantastic, yeah. Eleanor's down first, and Amy at the exact same time. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> These ladies are taking a serious beating, and they are coming back for more. They are daring this course to try to mess with them. Although Amy was second out of the gate, she's now overtaken Eleanor. <laughs> that was a bouncing human right there. Eleanor just making it up to the top. She's got the flag. Down she goes. Get it, get it. You can do it. Oh, God. Ah! Oh! <laughs> there goes Amy up the last hole. Keep going, Eleanor! Come on, Amy, get up there. Amy's going for it, and I hope for her sake she has the right answer. Eleanor making it up to the top. She's got the flag. Ah! Ah! Down she goes. <laughs> Amy's just got the fourth flag. All right. Eleanor's still close. OK, Amy. You left on clue three. Yeah. Popular on Broadway. What is your answer? Wicked. That is correct! You are still in the game! You're going to the final challenge course, Amy. Congratulations! Oh, man. Eleanor, thank you so much for being here. Mike and Amy will be going head-to-head -head in the final 19-yard challenge course when one of them will walk away with $50,000. That's when we come back. Coming up next, it's Amy and Mike going for $50,000. Come on, come on. final head-to-head -head challenge course where one of you will leave $50,000 richer. Now, Mike, do you think this competition has been more about brains or brawn? It's neck and neck. You know, they get going before me, it seems like, but then I, I've been able to come through so far and 
catch back up at least, and hopefully, hopefully that's the case right here. Uh, Gotta you, do you, it. Gotta do you've it. You've been an amazing competitor so far, you, so I wish you all the best. But enough of this talk. I want to see you guys compete for that fifty thousand dollars. So yeah. let yeah. exactly. Let's see what final nineteen yard challenge course is keeping you from your buzzers. Do it. Let's get these doors open. We call this fly trap, all right? Here's how it works. You will each be wearing a suit made of material that will stick to every, and I mean every, inch of the course. First, you're gonna make your way over that giant rolling pin, then you'll crawl through the human fly paper, then you'll go up and over the giant staircase, and lastly, through a car wash of brutal sticky strips to get to your buzzer to give your final answer. The first contestant to reach their buzzer with the correct answer wins the whole 19 yards and that coveted $50,000 grand prize. Mike, Amy, let's get you suited up from head to toe in sticky stuff, come on. Okay, Mike, Amy, it all comes down to this. It's time to go the whole 19 yards. Here comes your final set of clues. Clue number one, second wife was first cousin. All right, first clue's up. Clue number two, his brain was in a jar. Mike's looking anxious. Clue number three, featured in ad for Apple. Amy's studying those clues hard. Clue number four, won the Nobel Prize for Physics. Mike's shaking his head. That is never a good sign. Clue number five, Times Person of the Century. Clue number six, E equals MC squared. Clue number seven, whacked out mustache and hair. There goes Amy on clue seven. Clue number eight, he was a genius. Mike's still at the podium, but he needs to get on the course if he wants to stay in this game. I mean, Amy is already out there, but she's kind of stuck on the giant rolling pin. Oh, God. <laughs> well, there are no more clues, even though it looks like Mike's waiting for him. Amy's got a decent head start on him. You know, it is possible Mike may not know the answer. What will he do? Okay, Mike finally leaves the podium. Look at that, man, just vaults over the giant rolling pin. That is impressive. And I gotta say, an effortless transition to the human flypaper. This is a thousand times stickier than those fly strips hanging in your garage, people. And Mike has just passed Amy, but again, not gonna matter if he's got the wrong answer. Come on, come on. Amy's having just a little bit more trouble than Mike, but her advantage could be that look of confidence we saw in her eyes when she left the podium. Come on. Come on. Come on. This must be as frustrating as it is comical to watch. This is why it's called fly trap, people. He's gonna try to leap, he's gonna try to leap. Mike ripping over the top of the giant staircase. Amy not able to power through the human flypaper as easily as Mike did. For you. Come on, Amy, you're still in the game. There you go, there you go, there you go. Ah! Now Mike is going through the car wash. You can tell Mike wants this really bad, but this is like one of those Chinese finger traps, you know? I mean, the harder you struggle, the harder it's gonna be to get out of it. Come on. He's really caught up in there. I mean, you wouldn't think that a bunch of strips of this sticky material would really be enough to keep a guy that strong from getting through. But he is stuck solid in that car wash. Amy is really struggling with the human flypaper. Ah! He wants this so bad, I think he might chew off his own leg. You can see the determination in his eyes. He's not going anywhere for a few minutes. Amy, you're gonna be fine. Mike is so tangled up right now, you still have a shot. Amy, you're almost there, you're almost there. Come on, Amy, come on, you can do this. He didn't leave until way after the eighth clue. He may not even have the right answer. Oh, Amy, you got it, you got it, you're close. I gotta check back in on Mike. Mike has literally been swallowed up by the car wash. He's using his mouth. Nothing, nothing says you can't use your mouth to bite it off. An interesting tactic. If there's a stickier obstacle course, this reporter hasn't seen it. Amy, you're almost free. Come on, you got it. 
Oh, nice! Mike's trying to kick the buzzer. Come on, Amy. This is amazing. They are both literally fighting with every ounce of their strength. All right, buddy. Oh, my God. After all this, I really hope you have the right answer. Mike, you're exhausted. You're, you're beaten down. But you made it. And with $50,000 on the line, you took off at clue number eight. He was a genius. But when you left your podium, I got to say, you did not look confident that you had the right answer. What is your answer? Hey, baby. Einstein. You got it! That is correct! You have won $50,000! You've gone the whole 19 yards! Oh, man. You lost! I didn't even think. Dude, you know, you with the foot. Oh, my God. I was thinking outside the box and using all four limbs. For you, babe. I love you, Aaron. I'm sorry it's over, Amy. We'll get you out soon. You and your fiance are going to be $50,000 richer. You can buy her the ring. Again, Woo! congratulations for going the whole 19 yards. Yeah. Fantastic. We will see you Woo! next time with five Let new contestants ready. and four new challenge courses right here on the whole 19 yards. We gotta cut him out. <laughs> now I can help you. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.